Hi, Nathan here with Carolina Computer Network Solutions, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Netgear wireless router in your home. Step 1. Unpack the box. Step 2. Take all the paperwork that came with it and toss it in the trash can. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Don't throw that in the trash can. Hang on to it. Save the CD. You'll want to use that later. Next, unpack it and make sure you got everything. One wireless router, check. One network cable, check. Couple of uh, stands, check. One power cord, check. The next step is to take the router out of the plastic bag and then unpack your cable, your power cord. Go ahead and plug it in wherever you're going to plug it in. Make sure you have a wireless laptop or computer that you're going to use. Otherwise, you're going to need this network cable to plug it into your computer. But go ahead and unpack it and get it ready to go. Go ahead and plug the power cord into the back of your wireless router, right where the little circle is. And then it says, stop, please insert CD before installing router. Now we're going to attempt to install this router without actually inserting the CD. We might find later that we actually need to insert the CD to do this. But let's take a look now. Alright, the next step is to take the network cord that they gave us and to plug it in to the back of the router. Now I know it says here not to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. and then take the other end of the cord and plug it into your PC. Then take the network cable from your cable or DSL modem and take that cable and plug it into the back port here that's all by itself on the side, on the right hand side. If you're looking at the back, it's on the right hand side. All right, now that we've done that, we've done that, we're gonna go to the computer and take a look at how to set this up. Come on. All right, now that you're connected, open up your favorite browser. I'm using Google's new browser, Google Chrome. In the toolbar at the top, type in routerlogin.com or www.routerlogin.com and it will take you to the steps to set up your network. If it doesn't come up right away, hit the F5 key on your keyboard to refresh. And this is going to guide us through the options, so we'll just click yes to guide us through the options. All right, now that it's done detecting what type of internet connection, I'm going to click next. Now it's asking for a name. The default name is Netgear. I suggest you change it. I'm just going to put my last name in front of it and put an underscore and leave the rest the same. And the reason why you want to change this is because if there's another network nearby that has the same name because it comes with this default name then your computer could get confused and so you could end up switching between two different wireless networks because they have the same name and your computer thinks it's connected to the right one but it's really not so that's why you want to go ahead and rename it to make it easier on yourself in the future click next yes we do want to add security to our wireless network so click next again we'll want to use the WPA PSK because it's more secure than web and if your network equipment, your computer, your printer has been purchased within the past two to three years, then it should support this. 
If it's older than three years, you may want to use a web key. So then you just type in some type of passphrase. It could be anything. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use password. But it has to be 8 to 63 characters long. So just type in anything as long as it's more than 8 characters long. Make sure you save your username and password. I'm going to keep the router default admin and password the same, just for simplicity purposes. You probably want to change it though, so go ahead and select the yes button to change it. Make sure you print your network settings so you have them handy for future use. Click the print button to do this, then click next. Okay, now that we have our router configured, we can come down here and connect to a wireless network. Click on connect to a network, and then select the network. Remember, we named ours Vari underscore Netgear. It's going to ask you for your passphrase. And we typed in password for our passphrase. Type in the passphrase that you chose. And now that we've gotten a connected successful message, you should be able to browse the internet and you should be able to get on any other laptop or wireless computer or printer use that passphrase and you'll be connected to your network good luck if you need anything please visit our site at ccnsteam.com talk to you soon bye